So as I told you, if this is a magnetic location, totally we have uh, INO or something. <coughs> Such areas we use the uh, VLF principle. We put the transmitter on the ground and then we use the long range system. So now I'm going to enable the system. Light flickering here. Okay. Only then it is connected in the ground. Okay. Connection. You can enter the long range somewhere. Oh, probably can enter the long range. Oh, I think that's set, set, set. Here, first we need to identify which is the highest axis. So I'm starting the survey from here. Come with me. Sir. First, we need to identify the highest axis. So, after identifying the highest axis, we need to start the survey. When we are in the highest axis, we follow the system. After this, this is not required. Wherever system shows, we are going. Only to identify the highest axis, we are passing up. Okay. Later on, however, it diverges it goes to the least axis, then it becomes the highest axis. Then completed, it goes back. Okay. Now, I am starting on highest axis. Moderate axis on now. Just the runs are communication for the is already marked point. Mm. See? I'm coming on a moderate axis. Okay. I'm passing the location. It diverts to the highest axis when I'm crossing the location. This is the highest axis. So from moderate axis, it, it leads to the highest axis. I'm coming on a highest axis.
comes to a motor tax. So this fluctuation should happen. You can see the readings there. Now my it will come down. After this comes down, we have identified a location now. It is a fault zone. Like this, we mark up fault zones wherever it passes. Okay. After we identify the fault zones, we need to lessen the antenna. Mm -hmm. I'm on a moderate access zone. I'm coming to the point. It shows a different structure, mm. but it is not rotating. Mm. So this is the highest axis. We need to come to the highest axis. Okay. So I'm coming from the highest axis. <laughs> I'm reaching that spot now. Mm. This ceiling, target identified. Now it will give the target. Are you showing target on screen? Yes. Sir. So target is identified now. So once target is identified, our work in locating is done. Okay. Now we need to open the detect detection screen. So this is for A2 axis. Now we need to follow the A2 for depth calculation. Okay. So again I am extending the antenna. Now from this point I need to check which is the highest axis in the depth screen. <coughs> As per the point screen this is the highest axis. No sorry this, this is the highest axis. So now what is the highest axis in depth screen? Two thousand. Ah, two thousand. Okay. So on this axis, we need to check for the depth. Screen. So we need to check for the location that is cutting out. So now I'm following the same zone. Here again it's turning back. So again, like this, we can go to the So this long range should be turned on. The data will come from there only. So depth, we are giving 150, 300, 500 or 750, it will scan the whole 750, okay. but it will target the zone what we are giving. Okay. So I am targeting 500 meters max. Thank you. 